Larry Mosdam is an avid collector of classic tractors, and he's got dozens tucked away in buildings all around Clarion, Iowa. But a good portion of his collection can be found on display at the Heartland Museum on the west side of town. My wife and I are in the agricultural part of it. Uh, we're kind of in control of this building on this end. She's in the buggies. She likes horses and I like horsepower, so that's the difference. Larry loves rare and unusual models, and he knows a gym when he sees one. Like this 1956 Oliver Super 55, which caught his eye in California. It was above average when I got it, but there were still things that had to be done and tires had to be replaced and stuff. Steve Wacker from, from Nebraska restored it, and he does most of my Oliver tractors now. In 1954, Oliver introduced the Super Series of tractors, which included the Compact 55. This new utility tractor was built to compete with the popular Ford 8N and fill a void in the Oliver line. The short wheelbase made for easy operation in tight quarters, while the four-cylinder Waukesha engine provided enough power for a handful of implements. The 55 also had a unique way of starting the tractor. Yeah, I went out one day to start it and I couldn't find the starter button. And then I realized it had a foot push starter. Back in the 50s, on seemed like diesel engines, tractors had that more than anything else. Many people are used to seeing red wheels on Oliver tractors. But when the Super Series was introduced, they were painted green. Many dealers changed them to red on their own because that was more popular. But for Larry, it was important that his Oliver was restored exactly to the way it should be, right down to the green wheels. I like to get them the way they should be. And there's people ask me, now do these tractors run? I said, they gotta run as good as they look. So I don't wanna just put, I heard somebody say this weekend, lipstick on them. You just paint over them and if they don't run, fine. I don't do that. Larry's passion for collecting started off small. He began with toys and models. I started that in day after Thanksgiving in 77 and had Thanksgiving dinner and I announced that after dinner I was gonna start. And they thought I was kind of nutty, but I started. And then I was amazed how many people were already in it. So I've been at it quite a while and I'm still adding to it. From there, he moved to crawlers, and today, Larry has several dozen. Then it was on to tractors, and before he knew it, the collection was big enough for a museum. Well, first I thought it was great because the models don't take so much room, but then I started collecting crawlers, and that takes room, and, uh, and then tractors, so the museum worked out perfect. Yeah, I like to come in here when people are looking around and. They don't know me, but they want to know who owns them all, and I kind of sit quiet and listen for a while, and then I tell them. Larry has one of the nation's most extensive collection of rare high crop tractors, but the Oliver Super 55 is one of his shortest. Well, I guess I gotta have the tall and the small. Well, I like to look at the tractors that are not in Iowa more than anything else, like the high crops. There was very few high crops in Iowa. There was some smaller ones for nurseries, but uh, they were in Louisiana, California, and Florida. Larry continues to add pieces, and in his view, each one is a treasure, with hundreds of rare toys, signs, crawlers, and tractors already in hand. Larry doesn't really need to add anything else to his collection, but... I've got enough to keep me busy without buying any more, really. But if a, a good deal come through, I'd still probably buy it. I just like them all, it's my trouble. I got too many, too many favorites. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If you'd like to see more Oliver tractors, be sure to check out these other great stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep our Oliver Tractor Stories rolling.